Hey y'all, hey y'all, welcome. It's like 12 o'clock at night. I'm trying to go to sleep, but I kept getting the urge. I had the urge to read. So here I am reading. It's gonna be a little low because I don't wanna wake up my partner and my, look at me. <laughs> I don't wake up nobody. Right? You know what? There is a Leo. <laughs> there is a Leo. Okay? A Leo. All up in the energy. Okay? Scorpio, you got a Leo in your energy. <sighs> that wants to fight. They feel betrayed. Because of either like a cancer or because of some sort of, yep, a cancer. <laughs> Something has been laid to rest and somebody is in grief. It feels like somebody was playing mind games. I got Taurus out here too. Look at that. Taurus. Or you may need to have strength. Once you, if I get the sun card, let me see, Holy Spirit, clarify. Well, there's a bunch of y'all, so let me tell you what I'm getting, because I don't always get just one story. I don't always get one story, I get multiples. Um, also, you could be dealing with a, a water, another water sign. And your overall energy is strength, because you have it, or you're going to need to have it once you find out that you've been betrayed because somebody was casting illusions and you're going to be grieving you're going to be needing to rest to deal with this loss mm hmm Yep, you're going to have to have patience with yourself. Someone could, could also be going on the glory. Let me clarify that. Give me a second. Because y'all know I don't just... I don't always... Look, this is at the bottom of the deck. Go on the glory. Someone else is going on the glory. Ain't that some shit? I want one more. They say you don't need one more. I'd like to have one. The next song is called Gate to Oneness. If that ain't confirmation enough. I saw this card. Look, this is at the bottom under this card. Okay. And I shuffled and I got it anyway. And I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the, um, the playlist, the queue on YouTube. <sighs> yeah man somebody was working with somebody somebody had teamed up with somebody to take from you see the sun card I said if the sun card comes out this shit is going to be exposed I could be the one exposing it This is a lot. What is this? I need you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this person needs you. First, middle, last, initial, E, J, O, T, Y, Z. They're saying, I need you. This water sign, which is kind of ridiculous. Take it how it resonates. You could be this water sign that's being the betrayer. Or you could be the betrayee, okay? You could be the one being betrayed. 
put your place where you fit, okay? I was trying to sleep. I got a headache and everything. <clears throat> this is not too late. It's only 12. But I'm I'm uploading this immediately as soon as I can. Unless I fall asleep while um YouTube is doing the checks. Then I'll upload it when I wake up. What is this? Is my whole deck in reverse? The world. This is you closing out cycles and shit. Protection from the divine. From conflict and jealousy that this shit has created. You could have Leo in your chart. It could be highlighted right now. Or it's prominent in your chart. Leo. Bound in doubt. You're like bound to doubt. Or somebody is coming. Coming up. What? Because I'm tired. This is me right here. But I'm trying to give you the messages, okay? Um, this is giving protection from the divine, right? Clarity. Because maybe you were unsure right here. But it's like somebody is, it's like, this is giving warrior energy, like, you don't give up though, even when you're tired, you don't give up. You don't give up. That feels like a projection. Because <laughs> I'm tired right now. But it looks like somebody's coming up against you, doesn't it? It looks like somebody's coming up against you. I don't really like reading tired because I feel like the messages are all over the place. Holy Spirit, can I gain clarity, please? For the Scorpio Collective. Oh, look, there's a victory here. Look, look at that. Is that the Six of Wands? Yes. So this was like a spiritual battle. It's a spiritual battle that you're fighting. That's why she's tied up. She can't see it. So you can you can feel it. Intuition. Just like the two of swords. Right? You can't see it. You can barely feel it. But you know it's there. Like those swords. You know they're there. Look, look. Somebody wanted to partner up with you. An emperor wanted to partner up with you it could be that king of which call it is this the same energy because i'm getting bound yeah this is the cancer we was talking about but it could just be a secret it could be a secret i'm sorry i do not like reading this late because i'm tired i need clarity all right there's an emperor here right there's an emperor here that wants to collaborate with you they want a partnership with you they want to build with you okay but they just wanted to be you. This is okay. So I've been asking for the real divine masculines if they would please stand up. And this is giving divine masculine because I heard nobody has to know when I saw the moon card because, you know, I get my messages in the music, right? I should be playing Spotify right now, but then I would get some copyrights towards my, to, towards my um, uh, channel. But there's an emperor coming right because you're already breaking it off with this this emotionally mentally manipulator that shit is getting exposed you're grieving that shit you're being told to be patient with yourself right because the holy spirit came and gave you clarity and protection <laughs> excuse me and the ability to close out a cycle because there was a lot of uh, interference and con conflict and jealousy and all that shit right right 
So here you are under spiritual attack. That's what that was. That was a spiritual attack right there that you didn't even know about. But, you know, you won that battle, right? You won that battle, Six of Wands. And then here's the Emperor. You got an Emperor that wants to partner up with you. Three of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Okay, and they want to build with you with the Ten of Wands because it looks like he's gathering supplies to go build some shit. Right? Okay? The Moon. I don't want to say it because I want to say they want to build something with you in secret, but that doesn't... In secret. <laughs> Yeah, they want to build with you in secret. Like, they don't want everybody to know what y'all got going on. They just want it to be just me and you. Ooh, baby. Just me and you. Because you're a healer. You're a high priestess star. You're a healer. You're a spiritual healer. They know it. It's like they want you all to themselves. They want you all to themselves. Yep. And the divine, this is like, go ahead, my child. Okay? So they're going to put in that work. You're going to put in that work because the divine blessed you with this emperor. Scorpio, you ain't even out here. You ain't even come out in your... Oh, there you are. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Look at that. I split the deck. Blessings. You're going to be content. Okay? Don't let this go. Four of Pentacles. Because you deserve it. Justice card. Okay? You guys were meant to be. Six of Cups. My ears bother me. Probably because of the whatchamacallit. I wanted to put castor oil on my ear. My right ear today. It was meant to be, y'all. I think I'm wrapping this up. 12 12. Yep. Look, and then it's 12 21 on the. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Yes, and it's 1 2. <laughs> it is 12 12 a.m. And then when I looked at the timer, it said 12 21, and it is. The date is 1 12. January 12th. Who does some shit? Synchronicities all around. And you're gonna be, I keep hearing, gone, my child. So you're you're being nudged by the divine. You're being nudged by the divine to move forward on this emperor. That'll that this emperor is gonna come in after this. Um I don't want to say heartbreak, but it's gonna be heartbreak. This emperor is gonna come in after this heartbreak. Okay, and you guys they're gonna mend you. I mean, you're already a healer, but, you know, sometimes you need help healing yourself, 1313. You know what I'm saying? From this betrayal and this thievery and this deception. Yeah? So that you can be able to take risks towards new things with excitement and un... un what is it called? Un, unadulterated or unadulterated? I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say. Okay? So you can move forward with no worries, just excitement and the energy of a child, like childlike energy, innocence, and freedom, okay? Because it's your destiny. Go on, my child. That's what that says. You also have a feminine um deity in your energy you know there's an angel here right there's an angel down here you see it it's an angel god sent me an angel from the heavens above you were probably singing that yep and here they come yep your your partner see yep because this is an ancestor here. And this is your partner. There you guys go. This is giving, you know, although you are the boss, 
He knows you're the boss, but he knows that he needs to take the lead. That's the only reason why he has his back towards you. Because I wanted to move him here. I wanted to move him here, right? But he's over here standing on business. Listening to his ancestors and his divine about you. And how to bring you peace. From the ties that bind. Okay. You will get messages. Okay. You're not going to be unsure about this. Okay. This isn't going to be karmic. Like I said, you're going to be getting messages from the ties that bind. Something about being left out in the cold. What is this? Bound? Sadness? Somebody, man could have tried to, this man could have tried to, I said that before, this man could have tried to bind you. What is this sadness? Who's sad? Who's sad feeling left out in the cold? Somebody who tried to bind you. Who's sad, Holy Spirit? Because am I not getting this message right? So I can wrap this up and go lay down? Hold on, look, strength card, again. Holy Spirit, is this the Scorpio? Why would the Scorpio be sad? Protection. Protection from darkness. You could be having nightmares about this previous person. You could be having nightmares about being left out in the cold. Nightmares about what this person did to you. Yeah. And it could be tying you down, causing you strife. Queen of Swords is here too. You're going to have to do some cord cutting for that previous relationship. Like seriously, when you guys get out of these relationships that are like tumultuous, do some cord cutting. And do a little bit more prayer. Work a little bit more on yourself so you can heal from these things. Because this looks like you may be having a little trouble with this new relationship. Because you're suffering from a previous relationship. But once you heal from that previous relationship, you are going to be victorious. This relationship will be successful for you. See? Here we go again. This is giving contract though. Look at that. But why is the devil here? Why can't it be the lovers? Why does it have to be? I mean, you have an angel here, though. You guys might have to go through some troubles together. With the temperance and the devil card and the page of wands, I'm getting Job energy. You guys might have to do a little bit of some... Some... Uh, I hope it's not trauma bonding. You guys may need to heal together so that it does not become toxic. It may be a little toxic because you will have fire prominent in your energy. Um, I hope this isn't toxic. This, can I get one more? Because you have temperance out here. You have an angel out here as well. As long as you pay attention to your, your, um, here we go. Yes. Thank you. Gosh. As long as you pay attention to your spiritual counsel. <laughs> You guys will be all right. I was like, what is this? Why does this feel toxic? This is basically like a, like nobody can fuck with it. Nobody can fuck with it because you guys have permission from both sides, dark and light. Both of you guys may even have you know, maybe sometimes y'all tap into that dark side together, you know, handle business, but it doesn't look like 
it's full-blown toxic. It looks like an even balance of dark and light within this relationship is what you need. Because, you know, relationships aren't all going to be um, perfect. But what is this? You guys could be walking away from an institution together. Walking away from an institution. Leaving behind things that no longer serve you. Here you are, finally, Empress. Damn, took you long enough. Won't you walk away from this bullshit, some sort of mental institution, some sort of institutionalized thinking? You will be free, you will elevate, and you will be the empress that you need to be. And I hope you enjoyed this reading. I love you. Have a beautiful day.